Hey man, we got DJ Monte in the building, hey, man. I already what's told y'all. Yes, sir. Hey, um, I do want to just kick it off real, real quick, cause I kind of, I had, I was looking at your page for a long time, right? And I had to connect the names, and I realized, okay, they're the same person. It's a dude that I was, I was following for a long time, named Mikey Hump, right? I think that's the name. Mickey Hump. Mick Mikey said Mikey. Yeah. I swear I didn't know that was you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I swear. And I kind of want to know what kind of started you going towards EDM. Oh, uh, shit, just, I like to elevate myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to be stuck with just doing one genre. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to do something totally different, just take it to another level. You know, so I was just, you know, took a little bite at it, see how it got there and went for me. Hey, if I, if, hey, if I could just do this right quick, man. Yes, sir. Nah, man, because we, we in the best age, because we all in this great age where we seen Atlanta go from red clay to the lights. Yeah. And as a bunch of architects that don't get all their credit. Right. And man, as a person, I'm 30 years old. We uh -huh. all around the same age. I can say, hey, 30 years, I'm a senior hustle, bro. Yeah. And Cool TV just want to say, we happy to have DJ Monte <laughs> in the goddamn building. Man. DJ Monte. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, Fucking love. Man, appreciate that the for real though. Shit. <laughs> I had to make sure the audio was good for Like I had to be focused, bro. Like I'm in right. here like uh, DJ Monte. Hey, for man. right, man. <laughs> right? It. Like it, it's like for real, bro. Like because I always aspired to be on radio. Right. And you know I'm probably a baby born from not being able to get my opportunity. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's like I remember I was talking to um somebody that was on on radio. And I was trying to get on. I was like, man, how do I, how do I get on? How do I get there? They was like, create a buzz for you. So I'm like, man, fuck that, man. I ain't got time for all that, bro. Like, how did you get on? You know what I'm saying? Um, to how I got Great on question. it, I created the buzz. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like that's even for me DJing on the radio. It's like I had to, like the mixtapes. We had the mixtapes, the mix CDs, and all that shit pumping. So. That's what uh, really created the buzz. Then I was in a lot of street, the hood clubs. So yeah. it was like, shit, my name was buzzing. At the time, there weren't that many clubs. Yeah. So, you know, uh, folks knew of us of mixtapes, mix cities, and all around the Southeast region. So that was just like, that was us creating the buzz for DJ Monte, DJ Jillian, you know, on yeah. camp and all that shit. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Starting that out, man, like catching that. Who idea was to say, okay, we just gonna go, like we just gonna get underground artists, yeah. and take them to the next level? Because most people was doing maybe one artist, and then they took them out of their element, 
mm-hmm. and then try to excel. But you guys was different. Y'all right. was dealing with, I ain't gonna say people that's, you know what I mean? That mm-hmm. we know, but y'all was basically saying, okay, cool. That's money down here. Yeah. We're gonna keep the party down here. Uh, really, uh, Unk and MC Assault, you know, they want Unk really wanted to just start a label, Big yeah. Records. And it was all about his people, you know what I'm saying? It was all his folks. We were all cool with him. Like, it's just one, like, we he found artists. He just knew of folks because he from the hood, too. So it's like he knew the artists and he wanted to put them on. He was like, he wanted to be in the industry. And so that's what made us get into the industry. It's like, you know, he wanted to see his people eat and win. So he was like, shit, let's do it. Just, he, he was like, he all in. And you was young around this time. Well, when he started, yeah, I was 15. Woo! Yeah. What was, what was we doing at 15? <laughs> Trying to just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. make a first beat. Just thinking about some women. Yeah, I got with Jelly. Well, when when Unk started, I was like 17. But uh, I was with Jelly when I was like 15. Yeah, so Unk started the label like two years afterwards. I was still in high school, so. What's your feeling being in high school? And, and, and like, like, like. I would think I would come off a little arrogant probably something because you know they, you, know, you don't really yeah. got harness over your thoughts. Yeah. Like so what was your thought in high school? Like was you like, you feel what I'm saying, bro, I'm doing something past what my teacher's doing. Well, uh, at the time, you know what I'm saying, um, it really wasn't that many labels, like yeah. independent labels out of Atlanta, you know, <laughs> so the people in my school really didn't understand what I was doing. <laughs> ah. they were, you know what I'm saying, because at the time this wasn't like a big thing like now, yeah. you know what I'm saying, so they would they understand. I'm like, oh, you, yeah. They were like, oh, you finna be a DJ. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, <laughs> you know, it was a lot of folks laughing. Like, all right, shit. But then, big on records, we were grinding. We was in the streets, like all of us, every single day down there. Well, yeah, probably every single day, we were in the streets, and then shit just started happening. You know what I'm saying? We just kept working, and it took about ten years for me to even just get my first placement. You know, all this shit. So it just. It was just a long grind, man, for Big on Records. Like, we all, we went fucking everywhere. Florida, all kind of shit. Oh, yeah, went well, hard. Then me and Jelly, we had, um, we had tours over in Germany and everything just for mixtapes. Folks that had no internet or none of that. We had, like, a two-week tour over there. Gracious. How was the road? Huh? Oh, uh, Germany was snowing. It was so cold over there. It's like, this shit, it probably, like, snowing right now over there. In Germany? Yeah. Because, you know, you got to think, it's, it's a little further up north. So, you know what I'm saying? Germany is, yeah, so it was just freezing. Yeah. Do they like black people up there? Love it. Every yeah, every what I heard. I, every club we was in, it was packed every single day for I, two I, weeks. I think you talk about that, didn't you? Like, like, that, like it's just different people. overseas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they pick up our culture real, real heavy. They love our culture. Like, dead ass here. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. It's not like a hate over there, man. It's not a hate, man. Nah, hey, they I love it. Before kid money, hey, man, you guys cook. Don't hurt me, but. Somebody been getting on my nerves about this. Well, uh-huh. How do you go about getting placements? Shout out to T Dot. He got on my nerves. All right. He didn't want me to forget this. <laughs> right. So I'm so glad. I'm, and I'm like, I'm, I'm shutting up after this. How right. do you go about getting placements? Well, shit. Like I say, man, it started like from big on records. You know what I'm saying? We we had created our own movement with our own artists, and people started to fuck with our production. You know what I'm saying? So then after that, it's like, shit, y'all did this, you doing this, and you a DJ, shit, let's fuck with you. You know, they, they gave me a chance because I was I was hot as a DJ. You know what I'm saying? I created that buzz. Like my dude was saying, like, shit, it's all about creating the buzz, just even to get a placement. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, even if you start with your own artist, that's always works. So, like, in today's side, I know we're jumping. So in today, mm-hmm. how should somebody – I, I, I guess trying to get to that next level, how should they go about getting a place? What is something that's... Find an artist. Find an artist. artist. Yeah. Find an artist. Oh, I'm sorry, this is my mic. Find an artist, t Yeah, because you got to think. You got Mike Will, them, they started with, like, Gucci and all that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, Zayton started with Gucci and a couple of other artists. But Gucci wasn't even yeah. mainstream at the time. He was just with an artist that jumped out, shot a red. Well, he been, red. yeah, yep. he been grinding for a long Shotter time. Red. But, you know, it's just a lot of producers. Wheezy, he got them, 
with Gunner them and I, you know, just look at all the producers and who they start with yeah. and where they built their name from. And, and I think I think people need to stop looking at people and trying to goddamn see people look at people to pull them up. And that's like you say, the formula right. is build your own fucking unit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're a producer, get with an artist. You got to invest the time and effort. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got yeah. it's like building something, right? Mm-hmm. Create. But it's all a, a collective though. You know what I'm saying? It can't just be me. Yeah, want to do good, and then you like, man, I don't know. That nah. it, it's like all of us had to be moving at equally the same. invested. Yeah. yeah, we all got to move yeah. like gears in a car. Got you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, gotta, we all got to be clicking together. I'm what you think? What you think? What What you think happened though? Whenever they start goddamn looking at you, start looking at the next man. You know, uh, what I'm I I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what nobody else do because that don't. Like if anything, it, it'll it'll affect my pockets. Uh-huh. You know, trying to worry about another man, cause you know I still gotta live my life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I just I can't be looking at what you got, what you got, what you, cause Facts. it's like perception is everything. You might Real look life. like you got everything, but shit, you might not. You got know it. what I'm saying? So I got really just don't nation. be stunned that shit. Oh, well, yeah. see, I had this question before you came up. Um, what success? What is success for a DJ? Is it celebrity? Is Great it question. having a celebrity that you tour with, or is it being on the radio? It depends on that person's goal. For me, I like to, I like to elevate. Like I started off as clubs, and I was doing like three thousand people a weekend, right? So I was like, shit, man, I'm kind of tired of clubs. So then, you know, talk to God. Next thing you know, Payne called me. We're like, bro. I need you. I need you to hit the road with me. I'm like shit. That's but why how's I, it working with T Pain, bro? He's up to the say his name, and then not tell me how it is to work with T Pain. Oh, man, he hilarious. That's how you know he cool. Like, he, yeah, he yeah, just he drops cool. up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about you. Like, <laughs> he said yeah. drop Julia, man. I was kicking it with Jelly Dan. He said Pain. Yeah, yeah. Then I just went to Pain, and then y'all came back. Went yeah, no. Nah, so I wanted to do some bigger <laughs> shit than the club. So Facts. you know, going. Hitting the road with T-Pain, man, that shit was like, I done been to cities and states and countries that I ain't never thought was fucking around. So, you know, that shit went from 3,000 to like fucking 20,000 folks, 100,000 hey. folks. And then now I'm still on that EDM shit trying to do, like, I always want to grow. You know, my goal is to just get better than what I was. So that's it for me, really. Do you have to have a certain image to do EDM? Uh, man, you know, for me, I really don't, like I said, I don't really be trying or caring. You know what I'm saying? I create or build my own image. If folks fuck with me, they fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So and that's how I truly live, yeah. bro. Like I, I literally live like that because it's like it's so hard to try to get people to fuck with you. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is the thing that makes stuff stand out is innovation. Like whenever you do what you do and they fuck with you, that's a whole different right. thing that puts you a part of the goddamn mass that mm-hmm. they trying to get a part of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all about for real though. Uh, getting out, networking, and shit like yep. that. You know what I'm saying? It's not about what you know, it's who you who know. Who you know? Yeah. So, see, getting out, network. That's what I love to do. You know, I don't really just sit in one place. I can't sit at home hoping shit finna happen for me. I just have to get out there and just, just figure it out. Yeah, yeah. You got to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's just how it is. The begin, but the beginning grind of DJing though, like for up and coming DJ, what, like, what? Paint that picture for us real quick. Well. Dealing with uh, DJ Jelly M, Sir Salt, and uh, um, it was like a 24-hour hustle. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I really didn't have no girlfriend. You know, yeah. I just might be fucking some on the side or something. Yeah. You know, just in between work time. But that shit was like a real 24/7 grind. Yeah. Like we were focused all day, every day on getting to that next level, selling CDs, selling tapes, doing yeah. this. You know, and we had like 15 records. Part time gig. It was focused. It was focused, yeah. yeah. So I never really worked. I only worked one nine to five job, and I was like eighteen, and that mm-hmm. was like for three months. But after that, I ain't never. What was it? A blockbuster music. God damn it! Don't even exist no more. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> it's a blockbuster music. Yeah, it was I a record never store. I know that. Yeah. yeah. I know blockbuster. They had the goddamn movies. movies. They shit. had nah, the same thing with your store. music. Yeah, oh wow, that's hard. Store. Yeah. <laughs> that hard. Yeah. If you was living somewhere popping, your blockbuster had both. Mm-hmm. But if yep. you were living like normal ones was just yeah. movies and yeah. then you had to go to, yeah, I remember yeah. that, man. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that was it. And then I was like, and I went to college for like two years, but I was like, fuck college. I was doing what I wanted to do. I just, because <laughs> it was taking too much of my time. So yeah. I, I really had to stay focused and, and do what I wanted to do. And so that's what, I just dropped everything. That makes just, sense right there. Yeah. Me and Bill are selfish on this one. Go ahead. Oh, man. Uh, uh, uh. 
you drop weight over years. You don't even look like the same guy. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm gonna be in. I right. think around when did I? And it's weird because I remember somebody. I, were, cause I remember when you start having tattoos. I'm like this. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't the same Monte that I yeah, grew up on. Right. What was that moment that you was like, I'm finna transfer my whole body to this person? Um, well, I had um, like issues. I had got like Bill palsy. Well, like um, you, oh, like shit. a stroke. Like you know, it's like a minor stroke, but the left side of my whole face was numb. I couldn't move it. We was out in L.A. with um for the BT Awards or some shit like that, and I couldn't taste nothing. Wow. I couldn't. And so when I got home, I'm trying to brush my teeth. I can't even lift this side. This whole side of my face was just numb and dead. Like I couldn't move it. And I know that came from bad eating. And so, shit, I had to go to the hospital and get yeah. that shit. And I started working out, but then I hit the road again with T Pain. That shit was kind of bad. Came back bad as hell, you know. <laughs> and then after after that, I was like, uh, I gotta get this shit off me, so I don't drop like seventy five pounds. Man, you like a whole other person. Man, appreciate it. Appreciate and it's weird it. because you look, you look younger. <laughs> right. <laughs> they, they, yeah. They're they like me coming up. Yeah. Seeing you. Yeah. So I, I'm just somebody that's now like get on thirty. So mm -hmm. you know your body start acting different around thirty. Yeah. So yeah. now I'm taking my health serious and I'm seeing all that. So what was like, what's some of the exercise and the stuff like that you've been doing? I just want to get some of your games so I can use it. Really, I had to uh, switch up my eating. Cause yeah. I was eating horrible, being in the studio late nights and shit. Nah, yeah. Chicken wings, yeah. Wendy's, five double stacks. God damn, got, Wendy's. Uh, two. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because when you're in the studio, you really ain't thinking about cooking. You ain't thinking about none of that shit. You, you want the fastest food that you can go pick up, Fact. eat, and finish doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. And get back to it. So that, that kind of, for me, was the fucked up shit. So I had to change up my eating first. You know, I don't worked out. And, did all kind of shit, played Stop basketball, it. yeah, yeah. And I was just like toning, you know, toning it up. I really didn't want to just drop the weight, have loose skin and shit. I wanted to tone that shit up, so I knew that was a process. And I just stayed at it. I still do it. And then I don't uh, convert it to being vegan like four years ago. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you, man, I'm trying yeah. to get slim vegan, man. You gotta let me, you gotta help me out, man. Uh, uh, no, I, I fuck with the uh, lady that, you know. Yeah. That, that do it, you know, the slutty vegan, but I just don't eat the soy. I don't eat soy, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, so, I, so you go real deal, no yeah. in between, like, cause yeah. you know, like now it's popping to be vegan, so now there's a commercial way of being vegan. Well, a lot of that shit's still processed. You exactly. Know what I'm yeah. exactly, and, 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 exactly. And for, eat too much of anything is not good for you. It's trouble. Yeah, it's trouble. So, so it's moderation with certain stuff, but yeah. I don't know, man. I'm moderation with everything. Moderation with everything. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Moderation with everything. You even can't show niggas consistent love. Nah, uh -uh. Hey, you married my guy. Time, but the crazy part is, like, I don't even convince folks to go vegan. It's just how they put certain shit in our meats and shit like that. You gotta really think about how convenient it is to walk into a grocery store and just buy meat and eat meat every single day. When that shit, red meat really don't even digest that fast. Yeah, they're not. And so if you eating that shit morning, afternoon, and night, that shit still sitting in your ass for a minute. I get what you're saying. So if it's easy to get. That's why I don't fuck with steak. If yeah. it's easy to get, yeah. it just got to be. Because, yeah, it is hard to get something healthy. Yeah, see, back in, our, in, in the time, man, you know, they had to hunt. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like we don't took the hunting away from it. And like now you just walk. Down the street, probably get you a pepperoni pizza and wow. What, what you mean, wow? You yeah. got a cell phone. You mean, <laughs> you talk oh, yeah. yeah. Call you me. Know, they don't took that little exercise away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I, I really just switch it up, man. I just don't, I don't, I don't eat none of that shit no more. Yeah. I tried, I, I tried it one time, boy. My stomach was so fucked up. I did, yeah. Because as soon as you get off that shit, like you'll have bubble guts and yeah. shit. Yeah, I don't booty. eat cheese, yep. I don't eat no dairy. All yeah. that shit create mucus. Mucus is the cause of everything. Yep. That shit sit in your gut, your mm. lungs, smokers. You know, when you smoke weed, Damn. like this shit good for you, but you got to remember, you still smoking hybrid yeah, weed. Yeah. It's not real weed. Yep. Real weed is rigid with seeds. Everything has yeah, seeds. Everything that don't have seeds oh, and it's not good for you. Oh, y'all didn't know that? Y'all didn't know that? I didn't yeah. think no, about don't that. don't stop on what you think we know. Keep talking. We, yeah, we, we, no, I'm, I'm just saying. saying. It's just like if you me. eat a watermelon without the seeds, you're going to be like, damn, this shit must be GMO. What shit? Yeah, you smoking yeah. GMO weed? That damn, shit create. I didn't know that, Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. how's it been birthed? Seeds are goddamn like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? 
Niggas don't even want you to have seeds if they got seeds. Hey, man, you see how programmed we are? We programmed. Yeah. Thought I was going to learn about music. I'm learning about everything. <laughs> I don't want to smoke nothing now. Hey, yeah, man, shit, yeah. do your thing, though, because – even alcohol, bro, like you gotta understand what that shit made out of. That shit is sugar. Yeah. Mm. Alcohol is burnt sugar. I'm a bartender. Bo- yeah, yeah, yeah. Boiled I, sugar. No, that's horrible. Damn. Yeah. And that shit create bloat and fucking all that shit. That's so sodium. You don't drink no more either. Well, I, I'm a, you know. You dabble it if it's yeah. celebration. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. It's work. Yeah, but other than that, I really don't fuck with it. Yeah. Cause you know, like earlier before we learned about, you know, you drunk like you had no tomorrow. Yeah, I was on it. And speaking of drinking, T Pain. So, <laughs> I'm a T-Pain fan. Right. All day. Thanks. My weird drinking is, I mean, my weird dressing. T-Pain made me proud to dress. Right. How the fuck you want to dress? Uh-huh. Why do you think, we were talking about this the other day. hmm Why do you think T-Pain have a hard time, as he say, socially with the industry? Uh, probably a lot of fakeness. You know what I'm saying? Like, he might be an introvert, too. He, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, probably just a loner. You know what I'm saying? Because... Yeah. It could be a lot of phony folks in the industry, you know what I'm saying? And you just, he probably, he, yeah, he don't, he don't like dealing with it. Yeah. Fake shit. Like, he like to be real around folks. So, he just don't really, he say, fuck it. He'll be at home all day playing video games. DJ Monte had fun with him, right? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, that's now, my look, dog. Now, look, now that's why I asked you that. I set yeah. your ass up real quick. Let me get you right real quick. <laughs> that's my dog. Give me one of these good-ass stories, though, bro. I know you've been on the road with T-Pain, right. and T-Pain had... Bartender, that nigga had mm-hmm. goddamn a lot of other songs I can't even think of right now, but I used to ride to. Mm-hmm. I remember one time I was a teen. What the fuck the name of that song? Call you a drink. Let me buy you a drink. No, nope, yeah. that ain't it. Okay. It was another one. Sprung. Don't worry. Oh, sprung. I was in the maximum too. Uh, <laughs> girl, you got me. Yeah. Had the goddamn sunroof over. <laughs> yeah. Bruh, come on now. You toured with him. Right. I want to know a stupid ass story that DJ Monte like, boy, I can't wait to get back to Atlanta and tell these niggas how I've been living. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, shit, I, I ain't really do nothing crazy on the road, to be honest with you. We'll do, I show, man, by the time I, we get off the stage, because it's like an hour and a half full of energy. Mm-hmm. Like, he'll love going to the club. Me, I yeah. like to go to sleep, bro. Yeah. I'd be like, right. tired. We stay out the, of trouble. Yeah, stay out of trouble. <laughs> yeah. You know, shit. That's why I was going with that when I asked you, was you married early? Then, got I, I was married for the majority. When I first got on the road with him, I was married. And yeah. Then, um, we went on a tour for like nine months. Yeah. Every day. You know what I'm saying? Gone. Yeah. I didn't do nothing. I was cool. I was chilling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all went to fucking Australia, got down the, uh, uh, Germany, London, and all that. And I was just chilling. Is it cool? They, like, do they just want to give you pussy just because? Oh, you know, T Pain. Well, sometimes, man, we be on the. <laughs> I'm just hey, saying. Hey, hey, he's, he's just shot now. Nah, I'm just saying, like, sometimes sometimes it just be like, you know, we gone after that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. We really don't even be there long enough to just sit there and even chat with folk, because, okay. like, we be gone. Yeah. yeah. Like, dead ass here, like, it ain't like he just be like, man, look at that. That nigga ain't never did that, he do that shit every show. <laughs> <laughs> nigga back he after, like, like after the show. Yeah. He been, hey, y'all, come get to drink me. Oh, no, 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 no. Not after the show. No, nah, it's just, we we be cooler. Like, yeah. We'll get back on the bus and get the hell on or something. Because we have to get to the next city. Mm-hmm. How yeah. difficult is that being on the road? Like, you just own this, well, especially when you was like, bus, mm-hmm. bus, mm-hmm. plane, plane. Like, how was that for your mental? Well, bus is way better than plane. Yeah. You know, okay. You ain't got to get up early in the morning and get them, get through TSA, dealing with them folks and their attitude yeah, in the that's morning. That's usually the world Get too, on right? a plane, get to the next goddamn the- spot, then goddamn land, and you got to get to the hotel. And you ain't hotel. Got to the show yet. Yeah, you ain't got to the show yet. Like, that shit don't, folks don't even understand. Like, that shit be a little more difficult, especially when you're not the, not the artist. Mm hmm. You to uh, support, you know, you to help, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So you had to get there a little early. Like, I had to get there earlier than him to do the sound check. Oh, yes. Yeah. God, yes. Yeah. yeah, so, but when we on the bus, it's like we leaving right <clears throat> after because you get the, once you lay down and go to sleep after the show, it's like, shit, you wake up in the next city already there. Damn. Yeah, so that's that's what I love about so it. You still get your about. you still get your rest, yeah. Yeah. My dumb self. It depends on who you traveling about. with, though. You know what I'm saying? Some artists might party all night. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Pain yeah, that what I was gonna say, cause you like you you tour with Oop Camp too, right? Yeah, well, yeah. see, we was on plane. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like the night shot was different though. 
Yeah. <laughs> we was on plane, goddamn. But see, with us, we still we had fun. Right. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like we was just fucking. All of us was out the chain. Yeah, <laughs> I could believe. It. Yeah, all of us. That was shit out was the chain hard. At one point. Like, that whole like, that era, that yeah. whole like, home camp yeah, era. Like, yeah. but see, when I when I met you, like, and I'm I'm gonna give a shout out to J Tez because that was the only way I could meet you. Right. Like I was big on trying to meet you. You understand? Yeah. Like I ain't even care about just seeing you, but it was like, man, you was my first celebrity I ever seen, <laughs> and <laughs> I was. <laughs> That nigga started blushing. No, for real. There he like, go. I don't want to nah, say ever seen. Go. I mean, like, ever met. Like, nah, I, I never met talking. none. And right. I was really just starting out in music. I was, like, writing. And, um, man, I walked up in there, and it was just plaque, 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 plaque. And I'm just like, wow, bro, this shit is crazy. I was like, I don't even care if I make it. I'm already in here, bro. Right. Like, I was just right. cool just being there. But um, the reason I say that is just, um... It was just a different environment for how y'all look on posters. Y'all look mean as shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I'm there, man, big, I'm talking like, I'm like, bro, he just said my name, bro. This dude yeah. know me. So, yeah. like, man, now, I'm just it. speaking on that. Y'all do look mean as shit up. Hey, look, don't get it twisted, because oh, we, nah, we yeah. fuck folks. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, I'm talking about when I'm being in so many shits, goddamn, well, like, it goes down. Like we just like learned over the years, like bro, all this shit don't really mean nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, we have been in all kind of shits. But Sam, that, Sam told me some stories. Who? Sam is Sam. Yeah, Sam is a, <laughs> Sam, Sam, is Sam, a Sam, Sam a nut too. He you know what I'm saying? Story, just, and he, and he, he upset that. Yeah, so it's like shit. Um, and he just he don't turn. He a whole nother person. But he was a street dude at first. So it's like <clears> you can only imagine just even working for him. It was just crazy. So. Yeah, yeah. It, we we a whole different. We made it 360. Got yeah, yeah, we ain't the same. Yeah. But like that's but like that's what a lot of people don't really get to do, elevate in the game and elevate together. Like we can even look at anybody that started out. Everybody go through so much turmoil, mm -hmm. and a lot of you guys, even if you guys had personal things, a lot of that didn't make it to our level of knowledge. So I'm saying, what do you do? Like far as us, we building together now. Mm -hmm. Y'all built together. Then what's some of the things y'all did to like make sure y'all kind of kept, you know what I mean, kept everything at least together. I ain't saying y'all was boy band, but y'all, right. you know what I mean. I I have never heard, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, like this person with this person, y'all ain't. That nigga said, "How you keep that shit in house, base? <laughs> yeah, I ain't really need you to break. It down. I know that was, but that, I that, think that, you I, I know hard. That. It was just, I was just waiting a little bit. It was like, yep, yeah, come on, come on, right, time time go ahead." <laughs> <laughs> now, Oak was always built and based off of loyalty. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's what he in, 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 in embedded in us. You know what I'm saying? Man. So it's like that's always to this day. That's, that's why you probably see the main core people still around. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it, it, it's just loyalty. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. the way the Oak as a leader is, you know what I'm saying? You never would want to cross somebody like that. Like he always give a helping hand. He'll be there for you if you need him. And it's just like shit, he support. He yeah. the support and he the brains as well. You know what I'm saying? Like he know how to get your ass out there bargaining. He'll be thinking of shit while you ain't thinking about it. And then it like it, it's just up to you to execute it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he give you an opportunity and a chance. Like being with Big on Records, it was like you could do whatever you want to. As long mm -hmm. as you got there and putting the work, putting in the work. That's all he cared about, putting in the work. That shit hard. That yeah. shit dope. But we Freedom. all stay together. We yeah. all like we going to the club, we're going twenty deep. Yeah. That's how it was at the beginning. What's the down? We all had the big on record jackets on, big on record shirts, all that. Like yeah. every weekend you will see big on records. If Jelly has a spot, Jelly was like an artist at the time. Cause we all came 15, 24 deep. Yeah. You know, you can only imagine having a DJ pull up with 15 and then the security sometime and we bogard our way into the clubs. Like that's how it was. Shout now you want Jelly, man. Yeah, you want finna tell us now nah, we can't DJ get in no clubs. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That shit yeah. had to be the goddamn like just that just that type of power. But I wanna know, um, you say like basically like cause what you just said, bro, it, like it felt like the culture that we trying to cultivate here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like everybody just bring their superpowers and really elevate with their superpowers and we just boom make a super team. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what's what's the downfalls of that freedom though? Um, some folks, you know, you you, you gotta look at it like this, you know. People get jealous. Yeah. People have egos. People have all that. But shit, you gotta think it. Think of it as uh, God just removing certain folks yeah. out, out your crew. You know what I'm saying? That that you see bullshit in before y'all even jump out. So, you know, you just had to look yeah. at that kind of shit and just keep it pushing. 
To be yeah. honest, it's gonna be people that come and people that go. Yeah. It is real life. Yeah. yeah. That's fine right now. Let me ask you though. Is um do you feel like cause just just me when I see the artists around you, do you feel like there's any artists who may have limited themselves for not taking your advice? Um it's plenty. But you know what I'm saying? I don't point I don't do that, you know what I'm saying? And shit, it is what it is. I'm not the one to say that I know everything, but you know, shit, I was at one point in the club, so I kind of know direction. And then at, at at one point in time for me as a producer, I wasn't even all the way there as far as making what I was looking for either. So I had to better myself on on a whole lot of shit. Um, how do you transition from a DJ to a producer? Like, is is, is that easy? Is is that an easy switch? Uh, I still DJ on the radio. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then we yeah, still do mixtapes. You almost got that DJ drop money through Friday. What the car <laughs> slot? But you really <laughs> almost went there. Yeah, but um, uh, to <laughs> to do that, man, it's really I use I use the DJ element to produce. You know what I'm okay. saying? Mm. I like the the club vibes. I want make club beats. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. That's how I use it. Oh, so they kind of feed each other with Damn, what you're saying. Yeah. I see. I, I, I read the crowd. I don't give a fuck if I'm not DJing. I still go. And if I'm chilling in the club, I'm, I really don't even have fun. I don't smoke. I don't drink. So then it's like, at this point, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm just, I'm just scanning the crowd. You know That's what I'm saying? You'll be a great a and r Who, me? Yeah. Oh well, I, I, I don't, I want it to be that at one point. But you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I still got some goals as production that I want to do. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, the A&R shit just... I mean, crazy. yeah, they, and I know, I do feel like it's crazy, but it's just like you very meticulous and you are you you pay attention to detail. You oh, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. When you saying right you right being right. when you being in the club right. and shit, like cause I, I be the same. I thought something wrong with me, bro. Mm -hmm. Like cause I can be in there, you be like, yeah, let's go out, and you be like, yeah. When you get there, like, what am I doing, with my body? Yeah, you know what I'm like, saying? Like, what's going on? Yeah. Then you just find yourself just people watching, yeah. seeing why they people look at the person trying to be cool and fuck over here. Yeah. You just see people moves and shit. Yeah. Well, I don't really be like I just be looking like for one, I'm just known. I mean, well, just used to uh, checking my surroundings anyway, just yeah. cause you know yeah. what I'm saying. You never know. But then too, I like to see people, like you say, reactions, but to music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then I, even when I go to the strip club, I see what the girls got them dance to and what they react off of. And I be trying to, I be like, man, let me go home, make some shit like this. And so this shit, that's sometimes how I got our motivation. Even um, writing certain songs, him and MC Assault to go to the day shift in the, in the strip clubs and just get some motivation. Come back to the studio that night and just have some songs ready. Man, you're an interesting person. Have people talked to this? <laughs> yeah, I heard <laughs> like, that one. like, like, you know, when, first of all, I just love our job. We get to interview great people. Right. But it's like sometimes when you talk to them, we spend all this time with like these million notes, right? I'm telling you, we're like, we have like a million notes on you. So yeah, far. right. Like stalking shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. But we get to the table, bro, and you're so interesting. None of us have asked. He, he, he probably the only person to ask one of the questions that's on this list. Oh, that's crazy. No, I'm just saying, like, you're an interesting person. Like, right, right. Like, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who have told you this, but, yeah, you're a really interesting person. Yeah. I, it, have it been one song that you have, like, it have did, like, like, you recorded it and you pictured everybody doing this. And then you played it and they did it. Like, is it one song that just, like, you, once you played in the studio, you're like, boy, they gonna go crazy when they hear this. And then you seen it. Mm-hmm. Oh, um... Walk it out, actually. Woo! Yeah. I was hoping. <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> yeah, walk it out. Um, Unk like, man, you for real? Like, we finna put this out? Cause you know, we street label. Yeah. And Unk like, man, we finna put out a dance record. <laughs> like, you like, man. We, he had me play that bitch in the studio like 10 times. No lie. He was like, man, play that shit again. And you're like, Monte, man, well, shit. If you believe in it, man, <laughs> just get it mastered, mixed and mastered, man. And shit, so from that day on, no, I had to push it in the club. I broke my own record. You know what I'm saying? Dang. Playing that shit. Like I said, I was in a club with three, 3,000 people every weekend. So I put that, I mashed it in the head every weekend. Yeah. So like you really own the cheat code. Like like they say <laughs> Magic City was like that too, like with Future. Like that, right. that popped him with Esco and shit like that. And so it's like it's a cheat code. So yeah. Oh man, how, like, I don't even know what to ask after I that, mean, but bro. to me, that's that. See, the, the crazy part is, you know how DJs nowadays they be like, no, I ain't dropping no record in the middle. Of yeah, me, I didn't give two shits. Shit. Okay, if I fuck with the record and I like the record, 
I'm you finna drop like this motherfucker. Yeah, cause yep. I know it's a vibe. I got the power, yeah. bitch. Now, yeah. But was it hard for walking out? I'm finna get me what some you Chinese mean? Was it hard? Like, did you have to do a lot of drilling or like? It took about eight months. That's not hard back back in like what well, this see, like oh five oh four right that's no, 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 like, this like oh five oh oh six. Once you look at it, bro, like to be honest with you, cause today now you got a million goddamn artists and it's a click of a button you can have your shit on Spotify. Facts. Back then I'm in a club and that shit just it ain't that many clubs. You know what I'm saying? It's like a few clubs here and a few clubs there, hood clubs. It was easier for me. Radio stations, one but two stations, V103 and Hot. I had Hot <laughs> yeah. 10, I had I was on the station. Yeah. And folks were fucking with me and, and I played that shit then. So it took me about eight months. Now this shit could take you some years. Yep. Even though back in the days, like some songs took a couple of years, but shit, this this shit right here is that like- That track stood out. Yeah, but it's still oh, it's, it's oversaturated now. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all saying like, <laughs> now, I'm saying like then. Then yeah, because like, yeah. like, like if we going back to like to all the records that was coming out, especially it was a bunch of young folks. Right. So like the records was you know it was easy for enough for people like me to make it. I'm I was like about 14 then. Right. But when that record came out, that record was like it was different. Yeah. That record was different, but you know what made it super different? What? A certain guy can because see we from East Point. Yeah. So I mean, when Outkast speak, we stand up. Like, oh, man. You know oh, I mean? Andre and them got on it. Yeah. You, look, look, man. I know they don't talk about it a million times. I just gotta, I just gotta have it, man. What happened and how did that and happen? How it happened? Man? Um, shit. You know, the song was blowing up, right? So yeah. it was on One Six in Park, and we saw, we watched right there watching TV, and the song was gonna come up on the countdown, but they had Outkast introduce it. So then we saw them <laughs> walking it out and shit. So. They started dancing. We were like, oh shit. So that was huge for us. Yeah. We sitting in the studio and watching that shit happen. Me and um, and then we were like, man, we got to get them on that motherfucker or something. Let's try, we got to try them. Um had a buddy named Cheese that be with Andre 3000 like every day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. Shout out to Cheese. He, yeah. He got to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we hit him up. We're like, man, can we get Andre on there? So. He held back like, yeah, Andre said send over the beat. See if he can fuck with it, ride around with it. You know what I'm saying? So then he rode around. She hit Ump up, told me to pull up. We was at Patchwork. I pulled up. It was just me and Andre. He was landing. He was and when I walked in, he was just finna do that doo 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 doo. He did all he was that. There? Yeah, I, I heard him record it. I got a picture with me and Andre in the studio. It don't even work. happen no oh, more. God damn. damn. <laughs> yeah, this nah. nigga what? Yeah, yeah. So then, you know, um, I had it. Andre had did like five uh, stacks of it, but I had put it out like that. He was like, nah, I only want one of my <laughs> tracks on there. So I had to take it down. And by that time, Bit Boy and Jim Jones, them came with their verses. So... I had put all that shit together. Man. Man, I'm so in love with that first. I forgot. Hold on. Jim Jones is on it? Yeah. Balling. Balling. And I do love We Jim, can play it. Look it up and play it. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, we I can just... play it. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot. It was, I, was just, right. I was just so focused. I walk it out like an usher. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, well, see, that's how I int- got introduced to pain, too, though. Doing the two step. I was coming in. Two from... step. He did do the two step. Yeah, so I was coming in from wow. out of town. Me and Aunt was. And then. Uh, Payne them was finna get on the flight that I was getting off of. And he was standing right there and he was like, DJ, what I'm tell you? I was like, God damn, T Pain. <laughs> yeah, he said it that way. But I was like, T Pain know me. And at that point, I didn't know he came from a group called Nappy Heads. And yeah. Nappy oh, Heads yeah. were big. Like, we were, I fucked with all of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they used to be at all our spots. But then I was like, damn, T Pain know me? Like, damn, you know, that one is sprung and all that shit was out. So. Yeah, he was top. Yeah, I had got his number. I hit him up, said, bro, can I get you on this remix of Two Stuff? He was like, hell yeah, send it over. You shot the shot? Damn. Yeah. Hey, Monte, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It more than me that I no, I'm saying, same, that's, after, that's after I had talked to him, you know what I'm saying, one or two times. And then I, I hit him up, and he did that motherfucker. Shooting the shot is a scary thing to me. I don't, I'm not afraid to know. Please help me out. Okay. Talk. So how? Hey, look, look all right, you can, you can tell me show. one or two things, yes or no. If I don't never ask you, I won't never know now one of them. So I gotta ask. I don't give a fuck. I, I ask everybody. So you shot the shot at the the Migos joint. Yeah, that was Which one? Uh, trap house. Trap house. Trap house. That's cash out though. Like that's cash yeah, out we, song though. 
with the Migos, cash out, you know, Migos. You sitting on the front it porch. Chair, huh? Oh, it oh, that was chair. DJ Holiday record. That one yours? No. You was on it. Yeah, you I know, just made a beat. Like you just there, yeah. Yeah, I just, I was just there. So did you have to send that to Holiday to get them on that? No, he had. I sent them some beats and he got them like shit, bro. I got got them uh, come to the video shoot. Me and Big Corey pulled up to the motherfucker. It was right around the corner from here though. The video shoot was in Clayco. I think uh, I was, yeah. I was a, around at that time. Yeah, I damn near forgot about that guy. <laughs> yeah. That was my favorite song. Uh, yeah, you made me high. I need to go check that out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. And then, God, no. DJ. and then I remember I was walking down the stairs and I hear, oh, we got Neo. No, no, no. That was actually a year after that, I think. And I, y'all had made the Neo joint, man. I was like, damn, bro. But how that record went, Um. so J. Tez had beats, right? So he J. Had, Ted? Yeah, so... <laughs> He had um a bunch of, you know, he was signed with us as a producer, so he had a bunch of beats and shit. So we were going through them. I was walking past the room. He played that beat. I was like, hold on. Play that shit again? So then he got them playing it. He, I don't think he, I was like, I don't like how the drums went, though. I didn't like certain things about it. So then we uh, collectively, me, him, and uh, another producer named D. Lamar, we made it. Mm. Made the you no know, the floor on the floor beat type shit you know I put that on there and I was in the studio with Jeezy actually and uh, Jeezy wanted to keep it for him himself you know what I'm saying it was for him he was finna get Jante Austin to write the hook mm. and he was gonna try Jante to get Austin. yeah he, he was gonna get uh Neo he was gonna get Neo to, to feature on it so Neo was like nah fuck that I want it myself. So then me and G was like, shit, all right, cool. Oh, seriously? Yeah, he just, like, Bogart the record, pretty much. And Damn. so that's how that worked. And it was dope because I just want to put some little how, how, like, dope this story is. Yeah. Um, The highest, one of the first highest level on the verses was Jante versus Neo, which was dope. And they was able to pay homage by how they writing was very similar. Because Jante a guy doing beats. And a yeah, lot of people beast. don't even be knowing Jante. Yeah. But if you don't know, boy, you need to go into the 90s. Somebody, yeah. Some of your nieces and nephews was made off some. Yeah, he'll Something be. Something he wrote, yeah, yeah man. Fool. People sleep on him. and Dallas. Dallas Austin, Dallas Austin is, yeah. is, a, is, a, yeah. is a, like it's a problem, man. But yeah. producers, that's a lot of producers that work speaks. And I know a lot of people, they don't speak much on their name, mm-hmm. but they body of work yeah. be a problem. Neo's a problem. Neo a problem. But standing next to Jante, he yeah. had to say, don't play these records because I can't compete. <laughs> But Jante a fool, man. You Jante know what a saying? fool, man. Yeah. Like you with records. Like, is that somebody you want to do uh, verses with? Me? With Jante? No, 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 no. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I'm like, no, shit, hell no. Nah. <laughs> you going to murder me. You doing it? Yeah, yeah. You can't compete with Leah. Like, yeah, yeah. You can't compete with Leah. Like, yeah, nah, nah, with nah yeah. Though, That's like, what I'm saying. How is it, though, just living life, though, like, to be, like, famous and, like, people know you, like, literally, like, the shit that people grow up want to be like you mm-hmm. actually walked it you know what i'm saying how is it oh for me i'm just a humble dude you know what i'm saying like i, I don't really i don't be tripping like that you know what i'm saying i'd be like shit, oh, you know me ah damn you know i'd be trying to be yeah like even just the other day you know we was at a strip club and you know wearing a mask and shit. don't nobody really know who you is you yeah. know what i'm saying but we were trying to get in secure like man i i didn't bring no care because i'm used to just walking in the club yeah They're like man you Fifty dollars or some shit again. I'm like, bro, I don't got nothing. You know, my girl was just like, she was the only one to get in free. Yeah. And so the security guard, man, like, man, you don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, let him in there. So then and I was like, damn, shit, appreciate it. I didn't know he saw me, but I don't be tripping, you know. So we got in. My girl like, nigga, you need to start saying yeah, your man, name at the door and all that kind of <laughs> shit. I said, yeah, made a wet. They got some pussy that night. Yeah, but I'm just saying, nah, but I don't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am. Like, yeah. I ain't, you know, shit. We don't know each other, then we don't know each other. I ain't finna just be throwing my name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I ain't finna just be throwing nah, my name out there like that. I, would that. I don't about, be looking at myself as a like superstar. About, yeah, I would talk yeah, about but, from the perspective of somebody knew you and your girl saying, oh my gosh. That's what, what I'm talking what about. You mean? That's why I said, "Hey, I got some pussy that night." Cause I was like, "Oh no, shit. no, my girl, no, she was with me." Yeah, I know. It was just like last week. I'm talking about from her. Oh no, like, no, nah, nah, she nah. had from busted <laughs> open for sure. Oh my god, they they know him. <laughs> she get it get on her nerves at some point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying she'd be like, "Man, god damn, we can't go nowhere." Oh, that hard. Yeah, like 
Dead yeah, ass. Like, I'd be working out, and motherfuckers be like, man, I just talked to you on Clubhouse, bro. Like, you know, shit. Can't man, you brought that up. You just brought that up. I do not really fuck with the Clubhouse. <laughs> For real? Let me tell you why I done came up with the Clubhouse. I'm a deep thinker, bro. Right. So I'm thinking about when the fucking Clubhouse was birthed. Mm -hmm. Doing fucking quarantine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So niggas at home, girls at home at the house, chilling in their fucking gowns and shit, talking about all their credentials that ain't finna do nothing for you. Granted, it's some anomalies out there to where it has been some, you know, people like help. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. it's some people that goddamn actually got Clubhouse and they used it for the benefits it was. Just like OnlyFans, but what's taking over OnlyFans? Bitches get naked. Just like Clubhouse. This is just like a status thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you see people on there. And they ain't really goddamn talking about nothing for real. Or they ain't really finna make no move for real. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna follow me on Instagram. Get my Instagram followers up. You know what I'm saying? It's all about that shit. Oh, uh, really, it depends on the rooms that you be in. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be real. Some I, I be learning shit every single day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I go on certain rooms with like the stocks and bitcoins and all that yeah. shit. But See, that's the, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it be some motherfucker, some A&R, real A&R. I didn't it, even it, know that. That be happening on the club. Uh, yeah, yeah, all that shit happen. I'm on that. You got the woke pages. You got, got, you got the polygamy it. shit. You, you know, got, got all, all that shit. You got you know all it's everything. Everything, oh, so bro. It's, some things it's just like genre. From. Yeah, that's yeah. why I say. Why I say when, yeah. And you got people that just be talking shit in yeah, the room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That just like to talk. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like he was saying. But for me, I jump out them motherfuckers so fast. Wait, I, I was trying to get in there. I got in there, bro. Nah, man, for real, though. That shit is real like a networking thing for me. Like, just the the maneuver you know what i'm saying i've yeah. seen and met folks dope artists you know what i'm saying yeah. they took their chances and used the, the app for whatever for you know what i'm saying they went in certain rooms and played that music and they do it every day you know what i'm saying yeah. that's just pretty much how you got to do in this industry you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you got to really beat your song across a motherfucking head yeah. every single day until somebody fuck with you and they and if you don't if they don't fuck with it shit just go back and make some new shit just make yeah. something that folks will fuck with you know what yeah, i'm saying so yeah. that's how it is that how, that how clubhouse is to me you know what i'm saying i just use it as a tool i really i don't be on that motherfucking listening to no love and hip-hop type shit yeah. i hate that shit <laughs> yeah, <laughs> i don't even watch yeah. i don't watch tv yeah i don't think i've been approached <clears throat> what you mean have y'all been approached to be on Love it, hip hop. Look, he, hold uh, on. Yeah, but me and my no, girl. I'm saying, I'm saying because. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, we have. Y'all uh, be the perfect person, like the light of We just don't have drama. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I, I <laughs> she can't make it. Yeah, she wanna, she want to do it, but I, I like, man, we don't have no drama, and I'd be damned if I go on TV acting a fool, and that's not me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't, I ain't finna want to play with nobody. I ain't, I ain't gonna play with no, I ain't head. gonna want to play with none of them. I'm, I'm like, I don't play games like that. Like, I don't play like I'm finna fight your ass and we cool yeah. the next episode or and some they set shit. You up against your will too. That's the most irritating mm -hmm. thing. They would yeah. actually write a world around you. I'm not finna invite folks into my business. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I ain't finna do that. That's crazy. I don't like women. Women been programmed. They love it. Like you know what I mean. Like my wife love it, but I hate loving hip hop. But the women love it, so that's why I was asking because I, I don't know how that may play out. But you can use it to, you can use it, but you don't know how they gonna use you. So it's like a catch twenty two. Yeah. So I, I just just stay I, away from it. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't invite bad energy to my shit. You know what I'm saying? I just I stay away from that shit. I've been like that since high school. If you if we ain't on the same level, then I just can't hang around you. You want to do that? I don't want to do that. I want to do that. That point sound like it work because I mean, ain't no badness on your name, and that's hard to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't hang around no shiesty shit. I don't hang around no. Well, I, I don't know that they thieves, but I don't go do the shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I don't portray myself to be none of that. But I will fuck you up though. I don't, I ain't no fucking. I ain't the hardest motherfucker out here, but don't fuck. Me. Yeah, don't think it's gonna be sweet either. But it's just <laughs> like shit. That's just how I am. Like I just keep negative energy around from around me. I don't do bullshit. Yeah. That's the moving into like the the um, business room, and I'm interested in it. some weird jump like this. But how is like um, negotiating for, like for you? Like, do you have like tactics on how you get things done? Are you one of them people that's like this the offer? That's what it is. Or like, like business, like I always be wondering how certain people make these moves when you're dealing with these corporations that may not know how, like, like they may not know you care about you, they just want to make this move. Or like, are you a person that's like, this the number, that number, or mm -hmm. no, this is what I want, that's it. 
But see, that's the best thing about being with an organization. You know what I'm saying? I would um, um, deal with all that shit. Yeah. yeah, he good with numbers. He good with negotiating. He know how to fucking do all it's that an shit. Art to it. Yeah, it's an art for real. For me, I like to just be the artist. Like yeah. as far as being a producer, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to think about my deals and all that kind of shit. It's always good to have a good manager on there. That's that, trust. Is yeah, that trust. You know what I'm saying? Like I trust him. I've been around him for 27 years. I don't see all his kids get grown, so it's like I trust him. I I know what moves he's gonna make. I know how he's gonna negotiate. So I really don't even have no words when I tell him, "Hey, you got a placement? Finna come? You no, know, they finna call you." So shit, I let him deal with it that's hard with all the back the, 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 the crazy you know what i'm saying like the numbers and all that kind of shit like he negotiated everything you know what i'm saying so i you know i trust it yeah and then he, he come back tell me what it's finna be i'll be like all right cool then we just roll for now it up. let me say this bro you i mean y'all probably know this but they got a boss table in there bro that shit long <laughs> as fuck you know, bro it looks like a movie bro i'm being serious <laughs> like the mafia movie it's like yeah. a fucking mafia movie bro yeah, and, and big sit at the Top of it, bro. The top of the he just a smooth funny. cat, bro. He yeah, was smooth as fuck cool. to me. Yeah. I want to be there. I just want to be a fly on the wall with some shit cut up. Man, that I, shit's still in the hood, bro. It's not like it, it's probably like some shit you're walking. You be like, this is what where y'all been at since fucking day one. And yes, we've been yep. in the same building since day one. But that's what it's real. Like. Yeah, that's they what they say. Moha, um, shall they say, um, Motown lost their magic. When they moved out, oh, like, they moved out of that house. See, uh, when I had got my um, publishing deal, mm -hmm. the dude came over there and saw you. He was like, man, what the fuck? He said, this is <laughs> where y'all make all the hits from. So we were like, yeah, this it. <laughs> yeah. So he was like, man, don't y'all move. Don't get that money and move nowhere. So we took that shit. We were like, shit, we ain't going nowhere. 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 We cool. here. Heard that? I wasn't going nowhere anyway. I was just gonna do a part two of this shit. You see, know what I'm that's semi move. Yeah. That nigga nah, gangsta. You see how he just you see how he just committed without committing? Yeah. I was gonna get a part two and I'm gonna always be there. Nah. But you know the rest of the nah, niggas can I be like, first. Nah, I want like I want I, like my vision is to have like like how they don't the that corporate put this shit out like how Slutty Vegan got her shit. Yeah. See, I'm starting to figure out the move. See, niggas got damn okay, boom, they getting it. Oh, they establish it right there and they go throw another one somewhere else. And so got you gotta down. look at all that shit is just like the music industry. Yeah, hey, you know all of all that shit was you want me the word me? of mouth. You be like, damn, Slutty Vegan, Slutty Vegan, Slutty Vegan. Yeah. Just like music. You heard this? You heard this? Then they're gonna go back and you gonna be like, damn, have you heard it? You, you heard it? You heard it? You can't like once you get a word of mouth that but that's been consistent. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just with any and everything, bro. I be telling folk like they be like, How you get your shit on? You gotta stay in these clubs. You gotta stay fucking with these DJs. You gotta stay putting good content on Instagram. You gotta yeah, stay yeah. putting out shit. I'm gonna do a drop you for stay you, bro. That's huh? what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a drop for you. I'm shooting my shot. Yeah. Shoot I'm gonna do a drop for you. Right. And they're gonna say cool TV, so you it gonna be you gonna be helping me out too. You're gonna, <laughs> well, not just me, you gonna be helping cool TV out. Cause you're gonna be like cool TV. I'm be like, yeah, man, it's your boy DG. I'm fucking with DJ Monte. Shit, cool like TV. Yeah, that's cool. Shit, okay. send it to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do yeah. it before you leave. And <laughs> it's I'm gonna know. Good. It's all good. <laughs> I'm gonna know. Cause you don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna know. I, matter of fact, it's already ride. in the clip. We just did. There you yeah. go. Yeah. It just happened. There you go. Yeah. Hey man, um. Big Will, DJ Will, sorry, DJ Will. Mm -hmm. I want to know who is he to you? He first, he was the first person that actually helped me, you know what I'm saying, touch turntables before Jelly, you know what I'm saying? He had DJ my mom's uh, fashion show at the time. My mom was doing a lot of fashion shows and he ended up being one there and she had a DJ at this one. So I was like, shit, that was something I wanted to do. I saw him DJing. And so she reached out to him and, and asked him if I can come over there and she showed me some Daddy's. shit. Yeah, but I'm he. Saying, but I mean, like, it's not easy, but, but like I'm saying, just. Yeah, but he was like, shit, cool. But then, you know, when she dropped me off, my mom was just like, she wasn't like sitting in the room and then she dropped me off, and we was in the hood then. You know what I'm saying? So I was riding with Will, cooling with him and shit. So then he showed me how to do a couple of things on the. I didn't learn that much because I only went over like two times, probably. You know what I'm saying? Then next thing you know, I'm making the shit with. I had a whole wall full of tape decks. In yeah, my yeah. house, and I was putting shit together. Shout then to the I heard, tapes. yeah. Then I heard uh, DJ Jelly. Then was down the street from me at Greenbrier Free Market. I used to walk there every day. <laughs> yeah, that was like one of the first locations that they had that was selling tape sets. So then like, that what made me uh, walk down there with dimes and nickels. I used to wash cars to try to get them. You know, I knew you was from that side of town. Zone four, yeah. I Swat. didn't even know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I never knew. Like I, I never knew that. I don't know why I just thought all yeah. kept people just like griffing people. You know what? Griffin, I don't know why I was talking that. about. Nah, he thinking about JT. <laughs> no, I used to make that joke to you though. Know, when you, when he called me and said, "Hey, bro, no, hey, bro, I'm with um." I, I knew you were gonna stay in Griffin. Oh, nah, but see, that's how um, you no, know, he had his name in the streets from yeah, being it, like from a. Uh, Camelton Road, Ben Hill, yeah. fucking uh, Mechanicsville's on three, all that shit. So I, know, it, I thought y'all, I don't know. I thought niggas knew, was niggas cool. knew of him up in the street. So it's yeah. ever, it, I ain't gonna say it was easy, but motherfuckers knew of us because of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when Oomp say, "Yeah, this is what I'm doing," motherfucker, fuck with it. So yeah, facts. You had to get, you couldn't get on no nothing else yeah. to get the hottest songs. You had to get yeah. that CD yeah. and know what was popping. Yeah. So times were different. Yeah, but big shout out to Will, man. I always give him a shout out because, you know what I'm saying, like, he did give me that. He he, he ain't know me from nothing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He just let me come in and uh, play with the turntables in his apartment. His apartment was over there by uh, Benjamin Mays High School. Okay, man. Yeah, but he, he used to ride in a little Ford Escort, all that shit. That's, that's got don't yeah. hard, man. Speaking yeah. of that, I got, got some people, and I want to know, like, who say, either you got a story or just how you feel about it. Whatever come to mind, just say it. Mm-hmm. Um, we gonna do DJ Jelly. Okay. Um, so how you feel about him? Like, oh, okay. Well, shit, that's my brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And no matter what, that's my brother to the end. You know what I'm saying? So he really took me up under his wing and was like, hey, he called me at 15. Yeah. He was like, all right, I hear you can do something. Come pull up at Morrow High School. Pulled up, bro. I did not know how to DJ or nothing. I'm like, I didn't know how to fucking do a turntable. This man said, "Show me something." We didn't know what the key is. He's just he put you on a spot like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jelly. Yeah. So he saw that I was like, shit, just hungry for it. So yeah. I used to be over there after school every day, organizing records and shit. And then just to do that, he would show me some things. And he said, "You're gonna take this record and this record. You're gonna mix it till you can blend it." And so that's how he did. That's how he started me. So that's my brother for life. So this sounds like the get down. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna give a shout out to Jelly too, yeah, cause man, man shout out to Jelly. Jelly is a different kind of person. I I actually thought you was gonna be more like Jelly. What you mean? Like when he talk, like he only say a few words to me. Like he only yeah. make, and it's real quick. Yeah. And it's like I can't really tell if he if he like you or not. He ain't me. He just. He seemed like somebody in the military. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he just like he just be cooling. You know, Jelly really friendly. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he, yeah. he don't be tripping on nothing. Like you like, all right, all right, cool. But see, he just one of them folks that like to see you if you're a hard worker. You know yep. what I'm saying? That's just I, all the jelly is. I met him a couple of years ago at the Super Bowl. Um I was doing this, um I was doing this, I was doing this little hold on real quick, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the studio. I'm in the interview, but I call you right back. <laughs> if you here, bro, you can come in. <laughs> that made two things. That's some money. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so like, when I met him, I was um, I don't know if you remember when Super Bowl was down here. Like, mm-hmm. um, I was working with That's him. He, he was, was doing. Playing, right? Nah, it was the Patriots and the, the Rams. Rams, yeah. And he was doing something. He was doing a DJ set. I don't know if you um y'all remember that like Southern. Anyway, we had this indie concert. It was like a big ass festival that was right there. He was mm-hmm. doing a little DJ mix thing. He was teaching people how to DJ. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had I met him that I met him around that. We was over there at Fort McPherson. And um I had called him about moved over. I'm like, hey bro, I got something going on. I know you talking about that school shit. I mean teaching people oh, how to Academy. DJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was like I've been trying to focus him on that, but like how you say he 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 real big on seeing what you gonna do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how he is. He wanna see if you home. Hey man, I met Jelly and Jelly didn't talk. <laughs> um, <laughs> we told him we had a record. He said, hey, if I don't like the record, it's just gonna be that. <laughs> yeah. So Koi sent them. Shout out to Koi Bogo. Koi sent the Quavo, record. Quavo, goddamn. Oh, shout out to Really. He broke my record that hit the radio, Really, <laughs> and he liked it. But he told us if he didn't like it. It was gonna just be that. Yeah. He said nothing else. Yeah. He said nothing else. He we we, we hey. wasn't mean like you said. He's not mean. He just you know what I mean. He he just, just direct. You know, just direct. He said if I don't like it, that's gonna be what it is. Shout out to Quavo Go. They played it and boom. You, hey, welcome to the music. Industry. <laughs> Y'all remember uh old I, girl? Uh, oh, you go. You go. Nah, I can, I can send beats to A and R's and just don't get a reply. I'm like damn, they don't like it. Let me send some more goddamn. So that's just how it be. Yeah. And then sometimes it'll be like years later they'll come out with it. Then how did that go? Nah, I mean they just might hit you up and be like, man, send me the track out. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They hear what they like. They don't really do too much conversation. Yeah. You know, so I just go back to the drawing board. Just keep making shit. What I think is hard, don't necessarily. Do you really use it? If you send a pack over here, do you send another pack somewhere else? Fuck yeah, yeah, you gonna yeah. keep sending it to somebody? Yeah, yeah. Somebody gonna, it's gonna land on somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Gonna, it ain't gonna go waste. Hell no. Like shit, Foolish, that Foolish beat, uh, Rick Ross, Lil' bit. everybody had the motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Shiloh just end up getting on it. I'm one of them hood affair DVD. What are multiple, have you ever had it, uh, uh, have you ever had it, uh, have you ever had it where like somebody that was somebody got on the same record that you sent that? Uh, yeah. Uh, Rick Ross had got on, on one of my beats, but uh-huh. the dude who had did the record kind of just leaked the beat. Yeah. And then he didn't want to do it no more. That so shit pissed cut, him yeah, off. Yeah, because it was finna be the intro for his album. Oh, that's, that shit fucked you up on the low. Oh, How did you feel? I was mad. Little like, nigga, you need to wait yeah. your turn, little nigga. Yeah, then I had another record with uh Chris Brown do, did the hook. Cause I had some sessions with him. and um, Chris Brazy. Yeah, somebody leaked, leaked the song with, with that on there. So yeah. then I had gave it to Plies. He did it. He was putting it out. We had radio spin and everything. But then yeah. the label was like, it is over. Somebody don't put it out already. Yeah. So, so it, it really is. It really is a thing. Like like it's really like you really got to protect these beats with everything you got. Well, that's how I am now. Like I don't be understanding putting the shit on YouTube like how folks do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause I'm just so exclusive with my shit. I just don't Thanks. want. I don't want you get my ideas. Yeah. I don't want you get. Cause I'm so sure listening to y'all shit. Like yeah. you put it on. <laughs> you put it on YouTube, nigga. I'm finna listen. Goddamn shit. It's just it is yeah. what it is. Like how you do you determine? Yourself, how do you determine though who who you should give your beats to though? I I just deal with certain people. You know what I'm saying? Just like you got your you clientele. Nah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just yeah. like who you determine what, what, what giving your records to with DJs and shit. Yeah. You know who fuck with your shit. You know who going to play it. You know who going to spin it. And so yeah. it's like, shit, I know this person going to listen to it at least, okay. goddamn. So, or I might know the artist. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be a difference. Have you ever had one of the songs that you was like, man, this is it. I need you on this. And when you got that person on it, it did what you wanted to do. Like... Uh, did we already ask that shit? Nah, though? it was like an opposite for me though. <laughs> yeah. Nah, cause it was the I'm just used get low like that shit was Paul Wall and featuring Juvenile first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Paul Wall featuring really? Juvenile. It was T Pain on the hook, Paul Wall on featuring. With the same hook? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> same beat, same everything, same breakdown, all that. Can shit. you play it, bro? I don't think I can find it. Nah, I don't it. think it's out. So, nah, it's not out. I'm talking about the, the third one. The last one, whatever. Yeah, big one, that. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. Apple bottom J. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That was, that was Paul. That was Paul. Oh, imagine that. Apple low, bottom J. Come low, through low, with the bottom low. J. Yeah, that's yeah, where that yeah. shit originated from. Yeah, but see, that's I wanted. Uh, I wanted Paul Wall them had it. Why? Like, it don't even seem like that song he'll be on now. Well, you know, shit. At the time, he was just thinking about his image. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he was really a street dude, and that was probably Paul Wally. Look, yeah, that like shit I'm, would probably like, gonna okay, take him, no, take him pop. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was just like shit. He don't want to do that. White so, people can go either way. Yeah, it, then, it, then, it, you know, Florida. I'm like, who is Florida? So yeah, but now I know Florida's smart it. though. Hey, he took that record. He the, said when I when me and Unk heard that shit in the studio, we were like, this shit out of here. So this was never intended for Nelly. Where did that come from, then? Like, Nelly? Like, yeah, because like I always heard this was a record that Nelly passed up. He probably did, cause you know Mike Karen <laughs> was the A&R and he would, and he had pain on it, so he probably would like, they probably sent it to him like this would have been perfect for you, but then he passed it up. I That's think they were probably at the Paul Wall and Juvenile, and then they sent it to Nelly. Then next thing you know, they probably end up putting Florida on that, like, yeah, and you murdered and shit. Yeah, I'm surprised you said that track just went diamond. Oh yeah, yeah. That, track, went diamond. that went diamond. The Kroger commercials and everything. It's really like, yeah, it's, it's like twelve million. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Oh, God, what I'm going to celebrate that, man. That's yeah. beautiful, man. Yeah, appreciate it. That's that like the 42nd beautiful. song to ever go diamond in the U.S. Yes, Damn, that hard. Yeah, appreciate it. Yep, we got the nigga right here, DJ Monte. <laughs> Price just went up for no reason. Old Town Road hey, made it before Money I did. Be ass, <laughs> People keep saying, uh, which woman that, the three Grammys thing, but they they keep missing, yeah, they keep missing you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nominated. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, like they keep just throwing out. Right. You got, yeah, and then you got to correct people. Yeah, I'm three times nominated. I never won one. 
I, I wish, but yeah, but the uh, low record got nominated two times, and then the album got nominated. Mm. Yeah, but but that's still, I mean, yeah. Still nominated. You, yeah. Who was you beat by? If you don't mind me asking, at least one of them. I just want to know. Man, I can't even remember. It was a good record though. Okay, yeah. okay, it's something to get beat by. I mean, that ain't nothing you want to. But hear, see, bro. this the thing though. The crazy part, like they really was an acceptance to the flow ride. It was something new. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. BT didn't want to add in on 106 and part, and even though it was it did it was number one for ten weeks. Number one for ten weeks, nobody wanted to add it on to the fucking like it went yeah, it went through a lot of shit, then it ended up getting on a movie uh what that shit called? I don't Step forget. up. No what movie it was. Norbit. Nah, no, the first movie that was that's what set it up was the movie. Yeah. That's what the video was for, the movie. Uh, oh, now he want to goddamn start going. I, I, I want to say it might have been no, step it up. Step it up, I think it was. It, it might have been step it up. Yeah. Step it up. That's crazy. I don't know none of that shit. Yeah. Now nah, you, know, you yeah. could have got. With, hey, that mean the check cleared on time. Hey man. <laughs> hey, Come hey, check. What? Come they said they gonna do what? Yeah. That uh, with my check. They got my check. All right. Fuck them. See, niggas don't understand, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, standing out, doing something different, man, you'll see a whole different kind of money doing that kind of shit. Step up yeah. two. Step up two, yeah. Step mm-hmm. up two. Like, that what shit. What you mean? Shit. Like, streams is paid kind of pennies to the, you know what I'm saying, to the spin, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, when you get your radio hit on all stations, radio pay more. TV pay more. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, when that shit hit, when that shit hit, and I saw my chick that came in the mail, I was like, Oh shit! This shit dope. Oh man, I talk, I was talking to my mom. I was like, "Mom, I gotta go. I gotta." I go. ain't finna tell you. Dude. I'm gonna go do what I gotta do. Then I'm gonna tell you what I got. Nah, I showed her. Shit, I was surprised. I was just. She was like, "Son, you gotta check it." I was like, "Oh shit, okay, cool." When he picked it up, we just talking, opening up while she was saying something. I was like, "Oh man, I gotta go. Shit, yeah. I gotta catch this bank real yeah. quick." Goddamn, yeah. it was Friday, and I was God, like, man. "Shit, I'm trying to get on that level." Man. Yeah, but see, that's why I was telling folks. Like, yeah. you know, even when I'm on Clubhouse, I hear a lot of people music and shit. They sound the same. Everybody had the same cadence. Everybody had the same drum patterns, the same drum kits, the same everything. Yeah. I'm like, man, you got to really look at it like this. Like, the, me- the reason why the Migos them jumped out, because they were different. At you that know time. What I'm saying? At that time. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody took their cadence trying to sound like them. Little Baby different. Future was different. You know what I'm saying? That make, that still... You know, standing in this industry, you know what I'm saying? Gucci different, everybody was different. They ain't come in and sound like nobody else. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, just but like as an artist, it's really difficult to find some to like find a medium in being different and then still being hearable. If that's what, is is that a word? Like just you no, know, like you can listen to it, mm-hmm. and like how can you find that? How can you find that 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 medium place where you can make a song? It's different, but you can still tolerate it. Because, yeah. Because, you know, the different be, you know. T Pain, my buddy, right? So he told me his story about using auto tune. He heard it on somebody's song and how they, he heard one little flaw in it in somebody's song. So he was like, man, fuck. He finna fucking figure that shit out. So he kept, he kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing. And he finally figured out. And that's how he got his voice to sound like he did by, you know, experimenting. This whole shit is an experiment. You guys yeah. just fucking and do something. That has a fine style. I just like how you did that. Yeah, it's a, it, you know what I'm saying? You do something, go test it out. Go see if folks fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be different. You know, folks don't, don't don't think that you can. Like, you got to be sound like somebody else. No, nah, man. You can be different. You just got to find that style and just push it. That's my whole thing. Like, I like it's simple to me. It just, it just like people don't understand being different is actually being you. Yeah, people try to yourself, people try much. to That's tap fine. into they try to tap into what they think that they could be as this person. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And they don't understand just naturally talking, being yeah. them. That yeah. shit different because well, that's how Andre three thousand was saying. Like he was going in there. Uh, I just I just heard him with, uh, do an interview with Rick Rubin. Great interview. <clears> yeah, dope interview. interview. And so uh, he was saying like, man, he was trying to say certain shit, you know, do certain things. He would go in the booth and rap right. a certain kind of way, yeah. and it didn't sound right. That but was then sad to me, man. he tried. He was just like, man, fuck it. He just went there, use his own normal yeah. voice. Yeah. yeah. And so Rico, like, that's it. Yeah. Like, that's, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, shit just don't. 
shit not going to be the first time. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. might. You might look up and be that, that, that first time do shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. he was like, man. Yeah. He went in there and did Rico, and that's how he ever been rapping from, you know, that point on. Yeah. And I was like, that, shit, you just got to experiment, bro. Like, for real, that's real it. That's, it, is, it is what it is. Yeah, and that's the thing. And some people just got to understand it ain't for them, too. Yeah. Like, you can't force everybody, it. You know? Everybody don't know it ain't. Everybody that, really ain't found, ain't found yeah. or figured out their purpose in yeah. life. You know what I'm saying? People get mad at me because I be freestyle. I just like to freestyle, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My whole life, I used to be hard. But you ever freestyle before? You know how to freestyle? Nah, I exactly. don't even try it. Exactly. But have you ever tried it, though? Yeah, and how horrible do you sound like a spade, don't you? Yeah, yeah that's how I started off. I can't off. think that fast. That's how I started off, but I just kept doing it, and it just made me just like yeah, it. Yeah. So people, you so many rappers. I, I'm a podcaster, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I like to freestyle. Yeah, when I freestyle, I get uncomfortable now because everybody, like, yeah. goddamn, he go try to rap again. <laughs> Fuck, man, I can't even, I can't even exercise my brain right, right now because right. y'all think I'm trying to be a rapper. Yeah, that was random. It's all good. Nice shit, I understand. <laughs> I just want to. I just be want to freestyle, bro. I, hey, like, you know, I what just want to rap, mama. I ain't never want. It's, it's too. First of all, donation. It's too much pressure to be a rapper. You got to try to be exactly what people want you to be. I never want to do that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's too much. It, That's true. With me being who I am, I can see. I can freestyle. And then y'all get mad. Then I'd be like, y'all. So sometimes I still say something. It'd be mm. hard to me. Yeah. Still hey, man. Up. Shit. For me, I just think all this shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just going into a deep thought of it. Yeah. Like just even like uh, trying to have a career. Yeah. It's like stressful as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So just trying to be different alone, you got to really think. Well, like we were put here with nothing. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you got to pay bills and you yeah. got to figure yeah. out your career. Your so turn. Then niggas will see, oh shit, it's work right here for this nigga. Let me yeah. goddamn. Like, niggas really don't take time to really know themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. really Ooh. most important. Like, you know what I'm saying? For me in this industry and in this music, it really came to me naturally, bro. It wasn't nothing like I was just like, folk be like, how did you get in music? I was like, just, I don't know. This is just something I wanted to do, like, honestly. Yeah. Like, I went for it. So I, went, I didn't see nobody else. Like, I, I know I saw with DJ Will, but I ain't seeing, like, man, he making money. Let me do this same shit he doing. Nah, it just was fun. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Folks take the fun out of this shit. Like, that's really makes you find your your niche your love like you gotta find what you love to do and not like man i gotta hurry up and try to do this shit like try to be a rapper make beats and shit this nigga making it i gotta get out the hood yeah. nigga look at it it's like i'm being desperate right now at this yeah. point it sound like you believe hey shout out huh? to everybody watching right now i see y'all see us i believe in people don't make yeah, stay yeah. dope yeah. you say it sound like i believe in people yeah it sound like you believe in people like that's hard for people to do these days Nah, man, it, it it is what it is nowadays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you it, it's possible. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but like I say, you know what I'm saying? It, you gotta really recognize your purpose on this planet and what you was put here to do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not getting. You can walk down the street at the fucking fast food restaurant. I'm willing to bet you, ninety percent of them folks in there is rappers or producers <laughs> or singers. Or something, guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay, Eric, the world quarters for and then and, 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 and then for me, to, for what I see, it's like ninety ninety percent of the black folks, are majority rappers and shit. Yeah. They trying to get in the industry. Everybody want to be famous, and right. I understand. You know what I'm saying? But let me fuck y'all mind up real quick. Y'all remember how LA used to be back in the day, or how LA is now with all these fucking homeless people? Mm -hmm. What about Atlanta gonna be that? I wouldn't doubt it. And then when I tell you that, when I say that, San I'm Francisco saying. San Francisco worse than L.A. Yeah. But the only reason I'm saying L.A. is because, like, in my mind, how, how they got there is that they were in a position that people are in right now in Atlanta. You know, er, this is where all the entertainment is. Everybody flood down here. But it's like people get caught up in that nightlife and the drugs. And they don't really have their business. But they say they is this. But they never get mm -hmm. caught up in it. So I just feel like that's going to be. Atlanta, like how LA is, that's gonna be the turn of Atlanta. Hey man, folks be trying to keep up with the Joneses. That shit lame on the low. <laughs> that shit really is, but you know it's it lame. Is. Hey, 
It is what it is. You got to yeah. learn how to control your temperance, goddamn. You, yeah. you know what you got? Yeah, you got to control it. That's me. Yeah. People don't want to goddamn oh, really. I say, fuck it, man. You walk outside right now, I got the same truck I yeah. had when I first had my hit. Yep. That my, I got other cars, but I don't, like, fuck that shit. Yeah, like, people I'm driving that, my truck. Yeah. People beat that. up and everything outside. <laughs> 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 like, I don't be into all that shit. Yeah. Like, dead ass for real. Like, yeah. I, like, I got jewelry, but I don't never wear it. Yeah, I always said that shit too. I was like, I was like the first time I meet this nigga, he probably gonna have diamonds and all this nah, shit. Nah, man, man. I, like both think I smoke weed because of mixes and shit. Right. Yeah. I, used to, I never. I don't. I'm not no weed head. I'm not no fucking. I'm not. You was on laid nothing. back though, man. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm laid back than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he he <dope>. said, God <laughs> damn, man. Well, hey, man. I just want to tell you, man. We appreciate you, man. I appreciate uh, y'all. Uh, Hope we see you getting here, man. Cool. Hell yeah, yeah bro. At least sign the bathroom one time. You feel me? Oh, yeah, Make sure I you do. sign. You seen all the motherfuckers that done signed it. You feel I'm gonna miss the toilet. Read uh, everybody. Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> bro. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. Like we appreciate you coming, bro. I yeah. definitely appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Somebody that I grew up and I got them. They actually went alone and got a loan in that in that little pocket that I wanted to get a loan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, just ready yeah. and shit. Yeah. And just really, I think that. You know, you had to go around the world to get what you wanted because you did music and shit. I don't know if radio really your thing, but anyway, that's my shit. You radio, know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, I always want to do that shit, bro. Like, what, I, being a personality? Yep. Man, you got to do air checks. But yeah. see, if you was on... Um, air uh, checks. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm, if you I'm was different, on, though. If you was on, nah, if, see, if you was on Clubhouse like two days yeah. or a day ago, they were talking. It was a lot of big, heavy hitters. <laughs> he said, that's how you bring it back. <laughs> see, hey, if you was on Clubhouse. <laughs> Hey, it was a lot of heavy hitters that could do something for you on the radio. Then I say anomaly. You know then I say anomaly, though. So they might have been out there. Nah, take it. But I am going to take it. <laughs> no, I don't take shit. Let me tell you, bro. Like, well, my girl hate that shit. She, she <laughs> hate Clubhouse. She hate I be on it. Yeah. But I'm like, all right, somebody just play your song like five times. Oh, for real? Oh, oh like, shit. Like, 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 women. Yeah, you feel me? Like, <laughs> If it's nah, for you, you happy. Nah, yeah. see, see me, man, like, I, 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 I feel like, like, like how you don't have a problem with the word no, I, that shit hurt me. The reason why it hurt me, bruh, because uh, I don't know why that shit hurt me, bruh. It's just, I don't like rejection. And it's just like, I done tried to do everything that they say That's you should do, bruh. That. Go ahead, I talk do to me. I don't felt like I did Man, it. Fuck it, I do everything, bro. Yeah. But I felt you know, like it, I did it, and nobody it what you fuck with do. me. Can't nobody tell you no. Can't nobody de- deter you from what you want to do, bro. Like that's just honest. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't give a fuck if goddamn kid money didn't like ten of my beats. I just play. I be like, right, I'm gonna hit you back tomorrow, <laughs> goddamn. Yeah. See, I got some more for you, yeah. nigga. I'm gonna go home, make some more. Yeah. Play. Nah, I I got you. I'll take it. What? You right? Your money you don't right. like it. Cause uh, send it to AR you know? tonight, <laughs> round eight fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, speak, speak, speaking of that, that, just, I, that damn hoodie got that me into a lot of me. clubs, man. With that oh, okay. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but that shit got me into some clubs. Yeah, man. Was, they thought it was somebody. You better stay pushing. That's that what you want to do. Man. Yeah. Hey, fuck that. Hell yeah, and nah, I hey, because let me just drop there because you right here. I just feel like goddamn radio, like because I I. The reason why I got the grand communication and the shit I fell in love with is um, Orson Welles. You familiar with him? Mm. Like how he had the whole world believing that aliens was finna attack just through his vocals or radio. So that what grabbed me. Mm. So I'm up here going through college and all this. So basically what I'm saying to you, I'm saying because somebody might, this shit might go viral for no reason. Mm-hmm. I want to get like on a graveyard shift of a radio station and just be able to do talk radio. You got to do story tell. Nah, they going to find me. Cause goddamn, whenever I got the shit at DTLR, bro, they yeah. found me, bro. Huh. I just gotta keep doing me. Cause when nigga tell you do you, you just gotta do you. Nah, but you also gotta put yourself in certain positions. Fuck them, we ball. Huh? Fuck them, we ball. You gotta put yourself in position, bro. That's all I gotta say. You know I'm what just I'm talking shit. Like I'm talking shit. I'm just talking shit. Like, even, I, I'm gonna go back to my story. Let's get it. For, for, with Jelly. Like, shit, I wanna sit back at home making my shit on my tape deck saying, yeah. shit, Jelly, them gonna find me. Yeah. No. I was up there bugging the ass every week. I was bugging Oomp's sister, Kim. Yep. I was bugging her ass every week. Man, put me on. Put me on. Put me on. And I had bug a and I was a bug artists. I bug. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You going to have to tell me Monte, stop fucking calling me, bro. Like, dead ass here. That's yep. how I do. Yeah, that's dope. Take it like that way. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take that one. Yeah, okay. I'm like, I'm on. Yeah, yeah I, but, I, but see, I, I, I like for my product to be good. I ain't finna come. Like, I get advice and all that shit. But yeah. see, that's why I like the crew of people that's around me. Like, MC Assault, on, uh, like, we don't lie to each other. We don't sugarcoat the shit. We'll be like, man, nah, that shit whack. 
Like, don't play that shit for nobody. Okay, scratch this shit then. I, I hear no from them before I even go out and step out anywhere. I like, like no, nah, you know what I'm saying? That's the best thing for me, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, we ain't no yes men to each yeah, other. Yeah, that's how you shouldn't be. Right. So it just, you still got to take it in, though. You might get mad. You might want to fight. Shit, me and fucking MC Assault had time where we were finna pull pistols out on each other because yeah. of some <laughs> be disagreement. Feeling, yeah, I shit. be feeling like, bro. But baby. I'm just saying, like, yeah. you just can't take that shit, like, personal. You, you got to look at it like this person got my interest in hand yep. you know what i'm saying this motherfucker fuck with me like he love me like this like some real love and he want to see me win and yep. so if i win he win he win he win like we in all win like, but niggas ain't thinking like that no more though bro like niggas hey. ain't like everybody everybody everybody's selfish like most niggas they like they like like oh, i use what i got going on over here i had so many niggas just come and just try to come take more more hey, quickies being say, here, I'm right? Say this, I'm gonna say this shit again. Niggas gonna come and niggas gonna go. Nah, I'm gonna leave that alone. The niggas who the are. niggas the niggas who ain't for yeah. you is not they gonna get the fuck on. If you see niggas that got the hell on, you need to be thanking God, bro, cause them yeah. niggas don't need to be around. They gonna drain your ass as soon as you get some. Yeah. True. Shit. So True. fuck it. If they if if God show you who they is early, bro, before you get to where you gonna be at a certain level, shit, you gotta use that. Ah, man, fuck it. All right, shit, I keep going. Yeah, I done had some close friends leave and fucking that shit hurt. It hurts, but I just kept pushing. I yeah. don't be tripping. I don't be looking at that nigga no sir. I don't have no hatred for nobody. You yeah, stay on your squad, so it just is what it is. Yeah, it, it, at the end of the day, I gotta be who I am. I gotta do what I gotta do to make it. Period. You know what I'm saying? So I just. That's I have I mean. no hatred, bro. I don't have no hatred for nobody. I don't give a fuck if you're racist and none of that shit. It's just you lost. Motherfuckers just be lost sometimes. You can't blame them. You, you ain't. You don't like. You don't dislike me. Yeah. I'm a cool motherfucker. I ain't did nothing to you. You are a cool motherfucker. Yeah, I just, I just want to saying. tell you that, bro. I ain't got, <laughs> appreciate it. I got you here. I don't gotta do no more. I just want to yeah. tell you, bro. I really appreciate you, yeah. bro. Yeah, and bro. You. You are cool ass dude, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm Don't cool. You? Well, shoot, before we got any wrap up, I'm gonna do just Keep a couple, schedule. couple, couple little shout outs because it's right. well, well needed. I do want to shout out DJ Super Blue because that's my dog. Super Blue, he uh, just got added to it. We just finished up his first mixtape, actually. Is that mixtape monsters that you're yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, He just uh, we just wrapped up his first mix CD, so he gonna be like the next DJ coming up. I already know, since. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been, bu- I've been bugging his ass for about a year. <laughs> yeah. He, he finally got up in there though you know what i'm saying yeah. he was up on the jelly too though that's the bro when you talk about the dj academy that's that's one of the bros bro like i i get on credit that yeah. academy amazing yeah yeah that was up oh oh my bad uh yeah, they said shout outs my bad shout outs <laughs> we got uh i do also want to make i took over that part i, I appreciate <laughs> it too man he just stopped yeah bro. i was <laughs> like i took over super blue shit shout out super blue was happening shout out to super blue yeah, super blue shout out to super that's blue. the only shout out no, I'm just yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, shoot, shout out to DJ Jelly. Uh, man, I, I just, I ain't even gonna, I don't know. Dude is just too amazing to me, man. I don't pull up on him so many times. It's just amazing, dude. Coolest chin hair in the world. <laughs> he had beads he did on the hey, Coolest chin hair in the world. And then, uh, don't forget, next week we got uh, E.T. Cali. Shout out to E.T. Cali. Uh, That's my brother, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we finna get on hitting there. Oh, we finna oh, bug yeah. the shit out of his ass. Hey, look, he love it, though. Huh? E.T. E. love the fuel. He love that shit. Do he it. Gonna, oh, boy, he gonna get down. I right? know. He yelling and shit. And I, and I met, once again, yeah, I met E.T. through them. Him. He had to give us some tips, uh, uh, like, uh, like behind the scenes. Nah, me and E.T. started in the clubs together. We ran, like, we got the knuck if you buck. Like, me and him was in the clubs from the jump. Like, we, it wasn't oh, but, like, damn. a few clubs. Yeah. What? Them 3,000. You didn't know this either. I thought he was from California. No, me and E.T. I thought he was from the, St. Louis. He is from California. But yeah, I'm just nigga, saying. That nigga been out here since, since the 90s, though. I yeah. didn't know that. What? Yeah. I ain't. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, yeah, they wow. been out here since Like, we was in clubs. Like, it was a uh, club envy right there on Spring Street. And we were doing club. But I'm going to say, when I say that bitch was jam packed, bro, like, and all the nook if you book and all that shit, that's where all that shit came from. The head busters and all that shit, me and him. Like, he'll do some shit with nook if you book, come on, he'll be like, oh, that's ET started that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, daddy, that bitch got the, oh, yeah. doing that shit at the mint. Yeah, oh, yeah. but see, oh, that, but, mint lounge. Yeah, he was, he was hosting the mint lounge. Man, that nigga oh, used that the same mind, shit for years. Yeah, I remember yeah. I used to eat the same there. shit. Yeah, we used to be on the first time. Yeah. yeah, they thought we was some Ethiopians. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> me, and him, me and him, 
him were kind of really like the trendsetters of the clubs and the streets and shit with all that. Like, even for oh, my shit. birthday party, I used to have T.I., Crime Mob, Gucci, all them motherfuckers, Pastor Troy, Lil John. I don't have so many folks at my birthday party, man. E.T. was the host. So, you know, he'll tell you. He'll tell you how many. Like, we would club the club. It, like, if this club shut down, it would be me and him at another club. Me and him at another club. It was just like DJ Munchay and E.T. Are they gonna be hard? So it's no, it's, it's, I did it's not see that right. coming down. Oh, yeah. It's only right that we get him next day, huh? <laughs> He's here. I know. He's that way. It's only He's right here. that he yeah. called him that week. I just saw him yesterday, what, two days ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, he the one got me on my health journey. He'll be like, he, he really? the one. He is. is. Oh, oh, that motherfucker right there is physical. He, he want to wrestle. He introduced me to my first train. And he knows, yeah, he like trains. like. Well, he physically. just started that, like, I want to say about. Five, six years ago. No, the girlfriend say, because outside of you, boy, this motherfucker tried to do some shit. Like, but we always get to fight. I, every See? time this See? nigga, be, <laughs> look, every time we finish, we in the club, this nigga finna fight, right? He be right here. He take his shirt off her. I say, bro, can you just stop taking your shirt off and you yeah, got down? Yeah, keep your shirt on, nigga. He it now, right? I'm saying I'm DJing. You know that my brother, so it's like shit. I don't want to see you get stole when you trying to take your goddamn shirt off. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, oh, that was hard though, because he the host. It was like the DJ. How y'all even get y'all camaraderie? We brothers, cause we was on the station together. Damn. Okay. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? Then yeah. don't always fuck with him. Yeah, but you know if he fight, then it's like fuck, like, fuck. No, nah. right, play the record. Hey. All right, go ahead. Like, but like, see, that's crazy because, like, even in the club, we all was still family. Like, yeah. it was Big Run that really was pushing us. Big Run and Mark, they were the promoters of the club, and they had us at every club they that they was at, and they promoted us like artists. Damn, this one, this one, the promoters was actually older. They were the promoters were like they appreciated they DJ, yeah. they appreciated they uh they host, so yeah. they promoted me and ET like fucking stars, and that's what yeah. when you came to the yeah. club. You gonna know ET and you gonna know DJ Monte. Yeah. That's that how it was. Fucking crazy. Yeah, that shit was like hard. promoters don't do that no more. Yeah. But I I really stay out there. You know what I'm saying? It's a touchy situation for everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But promoters, man, they they did it. Like shit, me and ET might be in two clubs in one night. Friday, Saturday, and then we'll do Sunday. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah. We will. hey boy, this oh, shit. That hard. That, and they paid us. Yeah, yeah, they but they, <laughs> they, 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 they paid us for that shit. I'm talking about for even if if we if we DJ for two hours, they gave us a good they gave us Christmas bonuses, they gave us New Year bonuses, like them niggas. Y'all like, was family. That's what I'm telling you. So if yeah. if it was fight going down, we was the security, we all see Bit Run had his own security. So it was his security. So we were all family. So any club we was all at, it's the same security. So it's like we don't grow a bond together. We don't be in shootouts together. We don't be in all that shit. Like, that's for, dead ass here. Like, nigga fuck me, you don't fucked up. <laughs> I don't even have to have my, my, my folk there. You don't fuck with me, you don't fucked up. That's a good place to be in, good space to be in when niggas Man, know Man, I done seen so many niggas just might just be running their mouth behind me and I don't even be knowing it. Ass done got whooped up already. I didn't even know it. Security just be just that tight. Damn. Like we, like we still family to this day. I see all the same security. They do security for like that was the, that was what I loved about Atlanta so much. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that shit was unity. Now it's like, uh, you don't got saturated. With it, that. Oh, but, yeah, it's, but you know, it ain't nobody from around here. That's no what more. I was just finna say. I'm from like, here. I'm shit. a great baby. <laughs> I'm from here too. I'm born and raised. You know what I'm saying? Great. Yeah. Now they're coming back. Yeah, we yeah, just yeah. silent assassin there. We got them on the air like, yeah, y'all can wait so on So you bring in a bunch of bullshit from out of town. Everybody wasn't raised up on being unified like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So when and I, I see it around people. Some people don't understand loyalty. Some people don't understand, you know, stand down with somebody. Some people don't just they weren't raised like that. Yeah. And we work. Last part of my shout out, my two guys. My bad, we don't uh, took over. Still out, out, man. Man. I'm still shouting out. I'm still shouting out, man. <laughs> hey, brother, you look like, oh, still shouting out. I'm looking at it like, oh, shit, I forgot. I, I, I got to use some of these shout outs. Yeah, 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 hey. It is what it is. Shout out to DJ happen. Calvin and shout out to J Tez. Calvin, my brother, J Tez, yes, sir. Shout out to J Tez, man. Shout Hampton, out. boy. That nigga get down. Hampton. That nigga invited me to help me today. I like, man, I didn't even know this shit was down here, bro. This For shit, real? man. My oh, nigga, this shit. shit. And I'm trying to put him in yeah. that riffing. 
That nigga took over Hampton Day. I yeah, I came down there. That this shit was so far from what I stayed. I yeah. was like, man, I didn't know y'all. It was niggas down like that. I yeah. thought it was all, you know. They I didn't know that. Yeah. Niggas is moving down now, and they taking back up here. Oh, shit. Bro. Gentrification, man. Hey, man, again, man, we appreciate you for yeah, coming, I appreciate man. y'all, man, for real. Blessing, bro. You came in here, bro. Hey. Blessing, bro. Hey, yeah. Hey, man, um, Cool TV, man. Dope Nation, man. You talk to the... Yeah, man, stay dope. Never lose the focus. This is Cool TV Traps. We done trapped it out with DJ Monte today. Appreciate hey, man. Oh, that was there, fucking that was hard. Right. That's yeah. all right, right. Yeah. I ain't yeah. never yeah. heard yeah. that yeah. shit. Yeah. That was hard. <laughs> yeah, that was actually in there, man. Um, uh, take pictures of that right quick before you check. Okay. Like, I know you got a piece of one, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They gonna yeah. come out with a few times. I'm gonna let it keep streaming it, bro. Yeah,